once a giant, always a giant. For me, it's only a giant. What's going on YouTube, Diggy546? Definitely hit that subscribe button if you're new. Like the video if you like the video. And I won't tell if you click that bell. But let's go ahead and get into this. So a couple of pieces of news uh, going on in Giants world right now. Uh, Lorenzo Cardi is going to be out for the season. That is a huge blow because Zimenez was already on IR. And that's taken both of our young pass rushers, uh, no matter how good you thought they were, they were solid. Uh, Zimenez, maybe, I don't know, not so much. But uh, Carter was having his best year. Uh, I was looking for him to have some good games as the season went on and tore his Achilles. He was an athletic freak. I don't know if he'll be able to make it back, especially if we switch regimes. It's definitely an, an injury that is sad to see. Uh, he's going to be done for the year. So our two outside linebackers now are Golden and Fackrell. Two guys who have a lot of experience. Two guys who have made plays this year. Actually, I think they they might have been our two best outside linebackers already. And they're going to be getting more and more time. We have the guy, I think we took in the seventh round, Carter Coughlin. He's going to get some time. So we'll see who steps up. Uh, they also said they can Brown. So I'm pretty sure those two are going to be our backups. And to me, that's a huge step back because uh, Carter was playing really well. Even his, it's, the stats weren't showing up, but he was playing very well uh, so far this season. And also, what we all were waiting for, Austin Mack has been promoted back to the active roster. He was cut from the initial roster and then promoted to the active roster two weeks ago and then demoted back to the practice squad. And then now he's promoted back up and they have cut Damian Ratley. So Damian Ratley is gone, meaning that's leaving an open spot for Austin Mack uh, to be that next wide receiver. And I think he'll see some time immediately. He was a guy at Ohio State that a lot of Giants fans liked as soon as we picked him up. We all thought that him or Benjamin Victor were gonna be uh, back of the roster wide receiver contributors, but neither one of them made the roster. And now we're three months later, two months later, and it looks like he's finally gonna get his shot to be on the field. This is a guy who was a backup at Ohio State and that's not me even, you know, dissing them. Because being a backup at Ohio State, they were they have been stacked with wide receivers over the past couple of years. I mean, you can go down the list. There's been so many great wide receivers, Terry McLaurin, uh, Paris Campbell. They've had so many guys. And, you know, K.J. Hill, it's kind of hard to get playing time there. He's got the physical tools. He's 6'2". He's strong. He can go up and get the ball. And I kind of want to see him play. Uh, because this is going to be his real first chance, you know, besides high school to be, he's probably going to see the most snaps he's ever seen. So this is a chance for him to be a breakout kind of player. He sure has the physical tools to do it. He has the willingness and the mentality to be a receiver that attacks the football. I just hope that Jason Garrett can put all of these guys in positions to finally get open because Jason Garrett's offense has been crazy so far, uh, the way he's been calling it. It kind of gives me hope last week uh, with the Cowboys, but overall he's got to call better game plans. And I think Austin Mack will open things up because he's another guy that can go deep. So you guys, let me know, what do you think about Austin Mack? Do you think he'll make any difference on the offense? I think he'll make a difference. I think he'll make a couple of plays and we'll see how it goes. So if you made it this deep into the video, definitely hit that subscribe button. I make Giants content, NFL content, so all NFL fans are welcome here. And until next time, it's Diggy 546 and I'm out.